hello and welcome to wordpress tutorials in today's video i'm going to show you how to place the filters on woocommerce shop page uh, for example i have these two filters uh, the category and the price range you can also add uh, the processor the ram and uh, other attributes which are globally defined on your attribute section so uh, if i choose samsung then it will get only those products which have uh, which are in the samsung category and uh, it will not reload the page uh, because it's based on ajax uh, okay just uh, selecting the next category realme and it will get uh, only two products because uh, it's only uh, having two products and let's add the xiaomi and it will show you eight products because I added two products and also there is a price filter on my sidebar so we can choose the minimum and the maximum price for the product so it will show only those products which lies in this range okay for this uh, we will be using uh, a demo website this one uh, as you can see that this is a t-shirt website and it do not have any sidebar yet so uh, for this we will first install a plugin click on plugins add new in search type themify product filter press enter Click on install now uh, for the plugin by Themify. Activate the plugin. After you activate the plugin, it will automatically redirect you to the uh, settings page, the about page of uh, Themify. So uh, you will have to click on product filters and on the list page. Here you can create multiple widgets. So uh, first we will add a new widget for our sidebar. You can add both horizontal or vertical uh, sidebars or filters. So uh, we will be adding this on our sidebar. We will be selecting this one. And name the widget. It's sidebar filter. Uh, there are a couple of more settings uh, do not show field if empty yes I, I don't want to show uh, those filters which uh, do not have any number of products high product sorting no high result count do not show out of stock products okay high pagination no I'll choose infinite scroll and will uh, show the pagination products per page uh, I'll show 12 products per page because I have a three column layout and 12 products will fit perfectly fine okay allow field groups toggleable add reset button at the bottom uh, it is add this button if you want the users to uh, be able to refresh clear all the filters so yes I'll add it scroll to result no logical relationship between add or result page template uh, if you want to show the results on the same page as uh, this one do uh, if you click on any category the page will not load and it will uh, show the result on this same page then you will have to uh, click on this option but if you want to redirect your visitors to another page where uh, the result will be shown then you can choose this option and you can also uh, choose the page uh, which which will show the products uh, from search result but for now i'll use this one because this is the ajax option and the results will be on the same page okay on my products uh, there are uh, just categories stock and all these buttons uh, but i do not have any global attributes for any of these products that is why it's not showing here but if you have a global attribute such as a uh, t-shirt color or uh, size or anything like that then uh, it will be shown here then you can also uh, add it to 
the 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 filters okay i'll add the category filter and name it and i'll leave everything else like this and another filter price which will be uh, a slider you can also select a range where uh, people will choose minimum and maximum price so i'll choose a slider because uh, if you check there uh, this is this is the slider but if you uh, choose this um, range then there will be two fields uh, where people will uh, select minimum uh, will put minimum and maximum price and all the products will be shown within that range so i'll select the slider and i'll name it and the slider will uh, skip uh, 200 rupees uh, from one to another because if you check here and you move the slider then you can see that uh, the value is changing 100 with with a one step so i'll choose 200 for this one so this will be uh, 200 for each step uh, i also want to add tags if a uh, products if my products have tags then uh, people will choose the tags and the products will be shown from that specific tag you can also add uh, some more products the product title um, filter is that user will have to type the product title or it's just like the search but uh, it will work on the page like uh, and uh, it will be uh, like on the page search uh, the ajax call will be sent and all the products will be on that page and the page will not be refreshed mm, title and save it after you save this uh, widget there will be a short code and you can use it uh, in your sidebar if you close this you can see the list of uh, widgets you just created let's refresh the page copy this short code and come to widget section appearance click on widgets it, it is the main sidebar which is available here or you can use product sidebar which is empty WooCommerce sidebar which is also empty so we will uh, drag a text widget to our WooCommerce and product sidebar but for now let's try WooCommerce and paste the short code of that sidebar that filter sidebar and save it let's refresh the page and check Okay, here are the filters we have four categories 20 products in each category click on just men and it will show 20 products choose the price range okay our price range is uh, too much high for this type of uh, prices it's in pounds and our other website was in pkr or indian rupees uh, come to the plugin filter click on edit here come to the price filter and the range will be one because one pound is more than enough for a filter come to the front end and refresh the page okay now here is the website our website uh, have only two prices 49 and 50 that is why we do not have uh, too much of range it's showing 49 and 50 if you choose just 50 it will show only the products which have uh, the price of 50 clear the search 
and you can see the tags clothing men t-shirt similarly the title if we type sleeve then it will only show uh, those products which have uh, this keyword in the title similarly if you want to be much more specific than a013 then it will show only that product this one and then you can choose it by clicking here it will show only this product and when user click this product it will uh, get them to this product okay so that was uh, today's video if you liked it then please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing our channel uh, if you want to get more uh, of our contents thank you